Hey, so welcome back. This is part two of working on the Craftsman snowblower. We got it running before previously by cleaning out the uh, main jet on the carburetor without taking the carburetor off. Uh, but I mentioned that it wasn't running right. We still had to use the choke in order for it to idle uh, smoothly. So anyhow, here we are again. I've got the carburetor off. I actually soaked it overnight in um, carburetor cleaner like you've seen me do on other carburetors. I put it on, that still didn't work. So we're gonna try some other stuff here and I'm, I'm getting close to being at the end of you know what I know to check on this carburetor. Obviously something's clogged, uh, so we're just gonna check another thing or two. Hopefully we get it resolved and if we don't, I might just end out replacing the carburetor. So here we are, I got the main carburetor body. Right in here is the uh, idle jet, or the hole for it at least. This is the jet itself. You should be able to see through side to side. Um, there's a hole here on the other, and there's a hole on the other side. You should be able to see through it. If you can't, you need to pass through wire, pass some wire through there, clean it out. And there's also a little hole at the end. I'm not so sure I can see through that one, so I'm going to take a single bristle on a wire brush and run it through there. See, it doesn't feel like it's really wanting to go through there very easily, so this might be the point where we're clogged. At least I hope so. Just wiggle it. Right now it goes through easily. So it looks like we've made some kind of improvement there. I really hope that does it. So we're going to reassemble the carburetor, put it back on, give it a try. I like to put the needle valve in like that with the float and then put in the hinge. Get that little hinge piece in there centered. Put on your bowl gasket. Then we'll put on the bowl. There's a shallow end of the bowl. So on the top in this instance, it's going to go on the side where the hinge goes. After that, we'll put in our main jet. gonna go in there now we'll install it back on here so I like to start by installing this linkage And once the linkage is on there, I shove this inlet into the hose, and then I'll start attaching the uh, bolts onto the manifold.
try and start it. with no choke so it looks like that little idle valve the end of it where we put the wire through might have been at least the whole problem and you know resolving the rest of it All right, so I was this close to buying a new carburetor for this thing, so I'm really glad that that worked out. And if you're having the same trouble, you can check that out too. Anyhow, now that we got it running, let's go ahead and finish putting it back together, and uh, we'll try starting it again. All right, we're going to put on this bracket again. This is the bracket that lets the uh, that heat shield attach to the carburetor. So this is the uh, choke lever mechanism. We need to get it back on there. Make sure you put this top piece up through this the actual uh, choke. Now, there are some different choices made on this one compared to most most of these Tecumseh engines that I work on. Uh, just uses d screws with different uh, the screw heads need different types of adapters than what I normally use. Normally, it's either like a quarter inch nut driver or a phillips head um, these are using some different stuff when putting the shield on you want to get it to where your choke lever is coming out and hook up that ground wire then we're going to start attaching the uh, the screws that hold it on Then we got the old muffler shield here. This thing's kind of unique because not many of these come with this. At least most of them that I work on don't.
All right, I think we got it back together. Let's try it out. stuck with it hope this helps you out too uh, we'll have many more of these to go 